Hello everybody and welcome back to some more my Mega Modded Enter the Gungeon. We are finally, finally back once again, sitting in the throne and ready to go on a good old paradox run. We are jumping in. Okay, I've fallen off the edge. I don't know what's going on with the slight black border around my screen. I haven't played on this PC in quite a while. Who are you? <laughs> I see you finished everything there is to get, so... I can give you new things to look out for. Quests, if you will. They will yield no reward and no reason to do them. Um, if you wish to ignore them, so be it. Do you want some guidance? Sure. Sounds interesting. Obtain the weapon to end everything and fire it. Confuse a murderous chamber. Commit a great heresy against Calibur. Open a cosmic rift with a glass guanstone. Play a chamber of diamonds. Okay. Intriguing. Not sure what any of that means, but we'll, we'll just continue on from here. Um, yeah, I haven't played uh, Gungeon on this new PC uh, much at all since I got it. Um, so this is a bit of a new era for me, for Gungeon. I'm glad to be back. It's been quite some time. I know that a lot of you have missed it quite heavily. Um, we're starting with the glooper as well as whatever this item is down here. Let's have a look-see. You can see how long it's been because apparently I've never equipped my Ammonomicon before. My god. I got the booster shot. 5% chance to fully heal upon taking damage. Ooh, wow. Okay, that. Sounds like it could be pretty useful. Um, and I think the glooper, from what I remember, is not very good. Um, also, are my settings messed up? Gameplay? Speed run. What's, where's the movement speed outside of combat thing? Is there not? Increase speed out of combat. There you go. Okay, yeah. So some of my settings have changed and stuff. Uh, also, I think, I'm, I'm almost certain, I won't have any of the modded uh, modded items unlocked that I previously had unlocked because they're tied to the, my PC and not my save file. So there might be some issues with that going on. Also, the screen shake is too much. God damn, this is all sorts of weirdness right now. Screen shake needs to go down. Okay, weird. This feels strange. We are, we are back. Like I said, on a whole new PC and it's a whole new setup. But I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to jump in for some Gungeon and hopefully have some good fun. Uh, we're using pretty much all the same mods we were before. I'm pretty sure there's one or two new ones in there, but uh, don't try and make me name them. I won't be able to. I I, I promise I have no idea. <laughs> um, but it's just good to get back started again. Obviously, it is a new year and it is a new era for the Turtle Melon channel. I really want to put more effort into the channel this year than I have done the past few. Not that I've not put any effort in, but I feel like I've been slacking with the variety on the channel and a few other things, so I want to... Oh, hello. Um, I will take that, and I'll just open that up. Why not? Nail gun's not bad. Um, yeah, I want to I wanna try and add more variety to the channel and just put more effort in, and part of that is bringing back a classic of the channel that has been gone for too long. I'll be honest, for those of you that have missed Gungeon oh so dearly and are wondering why it ever disappeared, I have played Gungeon on this channel since the day of its conception, and it's it, it, it's a lot of Gungeon, so I just got bored of it <laughs> for a bit. Not, not particularly bored of the mods or anything, but just the game itself, the core gameplay loop, and I needed a break, but since we've got that break, since I've had that break, I'm feeling a lot more reinvigorated to get back into it and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy the game once again. I'm wondering if there's any any crazy shit we can do with that 5% chance to fully heal. Obviously, 5% is not a lot, but I bet there's some interesting ways we can make that work. Now, that was a bit of a bad hit there, but luckily, our sword is still active because we had armor there. I will try my best to um, have good runs here, but I can't promise early on that we'll be doing very well. Of course, we did do an episode recently with um, with good old Alexa for his Aleximus. That was really fun. If you haven't seen that, that was a really fun, like, hour and a half long episode of me and him just bantering and playing the game. I, I really, really enjoyed it. And it, yeah, that that was part of the reason that I sort of more reinvigorated to, um, to go ahead and reboot this series and bring it back, because I'm just ready. I'm just ready for more. Um, one thing I need to decide on uh, pretty soon this evening is uh, if I'm going to switch up the thumbnails and stuff and change things about a little bit for, for the new series. Give it a little bit of a new look or if it's just going to be the same old classic what everyone's used to. Ooh, gotta love me some shadow bullets. Love me some shadow bullets. I'll buy the other key as well. And we'll go for the boss. Keep the nail gun as our secondary, but for now I think the sword is going to be preferable. Especially on you, actually. 
As long as we've got the um, ability to shoot our sword, we should be able to do a good amount of damage here. That was really close there. I rolled a bit too, a bit too close to the sun. But we're getting a quick kill here, I think. When, when it's this, I should just uh, use the nail gun, because although it's not that much damage, I think being able to spam fire it is a little bit better. Okay. Little guy was getting a bit close there. Okay. All good. Shadow Bullet's helping us out as well. I love Shadow Bullets as an item. Anything that makes me fire extra bullets is always going to be at the top of my list. We got ourselves this thing. I can't remember what this thing does, actually. Let's have a little look-see. Um, this loosely bound um, moats of gun float in existence through a tear in the curtain eons before the Great Bullet struck. It's fractured, um, carved hauntingly beautiful patterns in the air, at least for those who can understand them. Ah, okay, so this is the one that fires very randomized shots. Uh, so it's not going to be super easy to hit with this thing, but I imagine it hits pretty goddamn hard. I think that's a pretty decent first floor. I managed to open up all our chests as well as get a little bit of curse off the bat. Getting one of those mirrors like really early on is actually really good. Jump starting yourself with 3.5 curse is certainly not a bad thing. Um, I think honestly I'm going to stick to uh, to this for now and maybe use that gun for the boss. We'll see how that works out. Ooh, katana bullets would actually be quite fun on top of uh, shadow bullets and stuff that we've got already. I'd be down for that. Quite good to get these guys cursed. We can get some extra pennies out of these guys. Oh god, the poison like absolutely wrecked those guys. Weird. Tiny room here as well. As long as we've got this, we've got good defense for now. We've got two armor as well, so this this might be a little easy breezy run for now. Uh, at least while we're using Blasphemy. I don't want to use it for the whole run, obviously. That's not the point of a modded playthrough, but... I've got Gungeon Pepper and stuff, so getting up close and using the sword is, uh, is pretty fun right now. Also, it's just a nice way to ease myself back into the game, I feel like. <laughs> a nice way to sort of have a have a little bit of a sort of easier time on our first run back on. Because I, I could I could use a, a bit of a fake victory. <laughs> use a, a good way to get sort of back into the game. Good. Store that away. Also, the, the game is just running a lot better with mods on my new PC, which helps to enjoy the game. The game also boots up a lot faster nowadays. I mean, there's been some tweaks to mods to help with that, but also my new PC is going to help with that too. And having the game boot faster, another on a long list of things that help to make it more enjoyable. Because honestly, before, it used to take me like 20 minutes to boot up the game. It was it was a slog. It, 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 it was rough. So it's nice to not have to deal with that so much anymore. We, I think we've got enough for Katana Bullets now, so I'm going to grab those bad boys. They are cursed, so we do have 4.5 curse now. Getting anything above 5 is a little bit risky on a run that's, uh, that we're trying to do well on, but... Thank you, thank you. It said something about um, opening a tear with a one stone from that woman's instructions, but... I don't really know what the cryptic message actually meant, so I'm not going to achieve much with that, I wouldn't think. It's Hannibal, it's pushed you straight off the edge, love that. What up, guys? I do like the Katana Bullets. Okay. Ammo's left about. We don't really have anything to do with any of that, to be honest. So, we don't need no ammo. Beautiful stuff. Oh, I'm, I, I absolutely love Katana Bullets. It's such a weird, um, such a weird item, really. But it's very good. So we've got one blue chest. Um, I'm not going to open that yet. Cause I, we should be able to get enough money for a key. Oh, dude. Giant rocket guy. That's cool. Okay. One bad thing about Katana Bullets you just saw there is it does push us around a little bit from time to time, which isn't the intention. Isn't what I was going for. Hey, we get a fourth class one stone. Once you get up to like five or six class one stones, you become essentially pretty much immune to uh, any bullet damage. So we could try and hope for that. But let's be honest with ourselves. When does that ever realistically happen? That's just... That's just praying for something that isn't likely. Okay, a brown chest. Unfortunately, our chests haven't been the best quality so far. Um, but we do get what it seems to be a block of orange cheese. Amber dice. It is an amber dice. Chance for any projectiles to be friendly instead. Ooh, that's very nice. Uh, so the orange... I, I believe that means the projectiles that are friendly will be orange. Um, and they can hurt other enemies as well as not being able to hurt us. So that's pretty good. It, it, it's, it's sort of a, a mix between defensive and offensive as an item goes. Let's try and... Uh, 
use this thing. Okay, this thing does seem to have pretty good damage. Now, it doesn't seem like the chance to fire pro friendly projectiles is all that high, which I kind of sort of expected, to be honest. I like the fact that the glass gone stones block the thing as well. Do you know, I'm not doing much damage with this thing. It's it's good, but it just doesn't... It's not very easy to hit with, so... It's not really doing a, a fan dabby dirty job. Remember, we've got blanks if we need them. Don't... Don't not use them for no reason. Try to be careful of the sword pulling us closer towards the boss. There you go. Nice and easy. This is a good this is a good jump back into the game, I feel like. It's a good jump back into the game. We got ourselves the wound, puncture wound even. Um I don't I don't need to trade health at the moment. Do you know what actually? I'll have a little look inside and see if there's anything that I might want. Corrupted wealth, greed, and patience. Honestly, no, I'm okay, thank you. I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on right now. So, I'm not quite sure what this uh, puncture wound does here, but it's only got 45 ammo and a one fire clip. Fires vials of tarnishing liquid, making your first tarnish. Do not handle the vials without gloves or proper protective equipment. Fires a short range shot that inflicts tarnish onto an enemy. Tarnish slows enemies down, makes them pierceable by any projectile, and increases the damage of any projectile that passes through them by 15%. Create a small, um, a small short lived goop when they die. Okay, kind of interesting. So essentially, this is going to be our trade weapon. Whenever we have a um, a larger enemy, like something with a higher HP pool, it's probably going to be a good idea to use that puncture weapon, a uh, puncture wound, and add that tarnish thing onto him. Now, I am curious to see how it affects bosses, because I don't think adding piercing and that puncture damage is going to do much in terms of bosses, but I'll give it a go nonetheless. But yeah, we'll have this as a backup, and then enemies like you... Okay, it's a charge-up weapon. That's a fairly long charge-up. Not that bad. We can deal with it. Yeah, so when we get enemies like that, it's it's worth grabbing the uh, grabbing that weapon, puncture wound, and using it. Nice and easy. But the, at the minute, the sword is best. Uh, what's going on with uh uh uh? Okay, no idea how I didn't get hit there. But there's just some bullets sat in the doorway there. That's um not okay. <laughs> Nice. Okay, good stuff. I do not know how I got out of that without being hit, I'll be honest. That was pretty special. That was pretty special. Okay. Take care of you. I don't think I actually hit that guy then. Oh, this guy being jammed is annoying as hell. There you go. Just die already. Just die already. Okay. So far, so good. Some lasers in here. This is a room that I very much do not like. But yeah. I didn't even know how to get through that without getting hit, I'll be honest. I have no idea. I should have just blanked. That's annoying because my first hit of the run. I was feeling really good about a no-hit run for a little bit there. I know too early to get our hopes up on a first run back, but... I, I was feeling all sorts of hopeful there, and the game was just like, mm, here's a room that's pretty tough. Oh bugger. That's a lot of friends. That is a lot of friends. Okay, not so bad. Yeah, so that, that puncture there did really well. Because it passed through one enemy and did loads of damage to the next. And you can be taken out pretty quickly. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We've got quite a lot of money as well here for uh, keys and the like. Our shops have been relatively kind to us thus far. In terms of what's been available to purchase, we do not need this weapon right now. Let's try and go towards our shop uh, straight away here. Is that it? No. Luckily, we can slice you through the wall. Extra HP there. We got ourselves the hollow printer, which does seem to be A tier. Don't know if we're going to be able to afford that by the end of the floor, so I think I'm just going to buy a key and uh, go for whatever our chests end up giving us. 
Oh, we got this little room here. We don't want anything to do with this right now. I will try to more actively do some of those things, though, especially now we're, we're not really on a new save file, but we kind of are on a new save file. Because, like, all the modding stuff, all the modded items, like I said, have been reset. So we'll have to re-unlock modded items, re-enable a robber or stuff like that. It's all, it's all different now. I didn't want to enable a robber Ross right now as we, um... We're trying to refigure out the game a little bit, so give ourselves a little bit of a break. That's what I thought. Dude, the amount of mushrooms in this room. I really like the alarm mushrooms as, a, as an addition to the game. They're like, makes this floor way more unique, and there's actually something you got to avoid. And and to be fair, they're, they're placed pretty well. They're not super hard to avoid, but they're not easy. It is easy to accidentally step into them. Now, this is a pretty good uh, secondary weapon to grab here. Kick that little sign there. And we'll find out what our second chest is that we most likely can't open. Please don't be a black chest now that I don't have any keys. Unless you want to give me keys, game, then feel free. So this thing will, as you can see, create little orbs around the room that will fire at nearby enemies. Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Yeah, I'm going to try and use my puncture wound on the boss as well. But I'll be honest, I don't think the puncture wound is going to get a lot of use out of me. With it being a charge-up weapon so I can't just whip it out and fire it, it's a little more inconvenient to use than I was hoping it'd be. Um, and without having low ammo, it's, it's, it's an interesting idea, but I don't think I'll get a whole of a lot of use out of it, I'm being honest. Good. And then what chest do we have here? Oh, we got a, um, bullet modifier chest. So that could be any quality. So we're hoping for a key from the boss here, but we'll, we'll see if we get that. Um, I think I'm going to do this. Nope, that's the wrong way. You goofball. Quickly just pull my sword back out. Yeah, I like this. This is, this is good stuff. Look at this. We just... We got crap going on all over the place. We can even pull out a different weapon and let them continue to fire. That's what I love about this. Good stuff. Unfortunately, no keys. Did get good old demon head, though. And a few... Oh, hello. Yeah. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. We'll head down to the next floor. Unfortunately, leaving that chest behind. It's a good chest as well. Like I said, the bullet modifier one's interesting because it's always a bullet modifier, which is always just fun. But it can be of any tier. Like, it could be a D tier one that's meh, or it could be a random S tier. And we've had a few where we've got, like, elite bullets and stuff like that that are just ludicrous. Um, Let's try and use the demon head for a little bit. I, I, I quite like demon heads. Oh, wait, um, another option that I currently do not have enabled, apparently. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Controller, beam ass aim assist. There you go. It's very hard to use without that. I remember back in the day when that option did not exist, and beams were just the most useless things ever on controller. Like, you can somewhat aim them, but without the aim assist, it's just gross. And I do like to play on controller. As many of you know by now. Hey, we've got the Witch. The Sundial Stopwatch. Stat boost at the start of the floor that decays over time into negative. Ooh, interesting. Every other casing collected is transmuted into ammo. Ooh, that's an interesting idea. And move slow again, a trail of fire. I like the idea of the belt. I'm going to take that belt. Gaining ammo instead of casing sometimes. I mean, obviously it does mean that we're going to be severely lacking in the casing department somewhat, but I feel like a more consistent way to gain ammo, especially once we get to, like, bullet hell if we end up going that way, really good. We're not going to need money then, are we, so it seems very, very good to me. At the minute, like, the moment I mentioned this, it's like, oh, here's all the ammo in the world, but still, you know what I mean. It's still good nonetheless. But yeah, how is everybody doing? How's, how's people's New Year's and stuff? Was it all good? Are you uh, ready for the year ahead? And so, so on and so forth. I very much am. New year, new me. God, don't ever say that without being ironic. It's awful. <laughs> but still, I am I am actually looking forward to uh, this coming year. For YouTube and otherwise, I think it's just going to be good. Had a really, really good uh, New Year's Eve party with some friends. It was very, very nice. Dude, the demon head is just... 
Oh, it's just beautiful. Bit of fire. Good damage. It's just... It's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah, so unfortunately... Do you know? I've got an interesting idea here. So, this, this casings into ammo thing. With this weapon, really, it's kind of crap. But, imagine something that's got a lot less ammo. It seems like it might be real, real good for those sorts of weapons. I'm liking that idea. But a weapon like this is trash for. It's just a waste of casings. Just because you can't burn doesn't mean I can't kill you with this thing. Good, good. Almost out of ammo with this thing. Oh, free key. Getting free key with a free key. Right, just waste the rest of that ammo so I know that thing's empty. Use this and this again. The Killer Third Central is good, but a little unreliable because you don't really get to aim at where you want to fire it. It's mostly good for, like, rooms with fewer enemies or bosses. Here's our shop as well. Um, I think I'll just buy the key, thank you. Uh, we'll open up one of our chests here. And that's a pretty good weapon. I will take that. I will take that. Gains flight. Good damage. We'll lose it all if we take damage with the gun there. So it's, it's, it's an interesting one. I think it's a, a cool weapon. I like the fact that it's just strong. I always like the fact when a weapon is just a strong boy. Okay. Keep it moving along. And it just does, yeah, it, it, it just like has this sort of soft herming here. Makes its way around the room. Kills a lot of stuff. It's relatively ammo efficient. I wouldn't say it's the most ammo efficient weapon I've ever used, but... Ammo efficient enough. And the, the shots linger as well, so it can kind of be used somewhat defensively. Okay, got another chest here. Master of Unlocking. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think that's just room clear keys, which we kind of do need right now, because we're going to be pretty low on casings here. Um, we do have a map man over there, but we do not have a key to uh, to get in there. I think we want to go with this classic combo again. Did that completely wrong. Haven't done that in a while. Oh man, this is amazing. This this tentacles, goddamn insane. Oh, and there's some keys, baby. Lovely. Quickly check out what's going on in here. Wait, what? Is there a room I haven't been to? Uh, literally the one directly below me. Wait, what? Oh, for God's sake, man. Right. Back again. We get the battling ram. Oh, isn't this thing pretty good? Doesn't it open up locked doors and stuff? I'm pretty down to clown with this. Right, let's go. I'm pretty down to clown with this. I feel like the fog has cleared on Gungeon, and I'm finally playing like I used to. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I don't exactly know how well. I've got hit, like, a few times, I think. I know I got hit on that trap room. I can't think of anywhere else I got hit, but surely I've been hit by an enemy at some point. But we'll, we'll keep it going and see how far we can get without, uh, without that happening. You never know. You never know. Either way, we'll see how this floor treats us. Uh, this battling ram, I think, should be pretty good. I, I, I remember it being a pretty strong weapon, like, irregardless of the other things it can do. I remember it still actually being pretty useful. Hmm. Last floor seems to be taking a little bit long to load, but the 
The little the little Gungeon Man is still lagging about. As, as long as he's not on a smooth animation, as long as it's laggy, it means the game's doing something. So, we should be okay. We will see, though. We will see. It's taking its sweet, sweet time. There's always been issues with the last floor in Gungeon modding. I don't know what that's about, but there's always been, like, something to do with the forge that... It tries to generate rooms differently or something. Um, I don't know what mod does that, but it always has trouble. Anyways, we're through it now. Um, so yeah, let's try and use this battling ram for a little bit here and uh, see what we can get done with it. Okay. Explosive barrels there. Wasn't really ready for you guys so much. Okay, ammo's good. Take that on... Probably take it on this. Honestly, let's let's keep using this. This thing was amazing before. Ah, there you go. There's a hit. Of course I cursed myself to uh, end up getting hit. This is a pretty rough room, though. Very little maneuverability. Some rough enemies. Not the best weapon to really do this with. It's free chest. Oh, we get the... Uh, the good old boomstick, Firelands. Bit of a bit of a weird one, but pretty good. Yeah, so as soon as I actually exclaim, ooh, it looks like I'm doing well, that's when it all came crashing down. So I just shouldn't have said that, should I? It's always the case, isn't it? Lovely. Even the enemies that can't burn get destroyed by this. And Master of Unlocking just gave us our next key as well. Very nice, we've got both of our chests covered this floor now. Fire right through your shit. Where's the big boy? There he is. Not so bad. Another key. Oh, Master of Unlocking is... Is being beautiful to us right now. Yo. Gungeon Pepper's also doing some work here and there. It's only a small amount of damage, but... Saves us some ammo, so I don't mind. I like being able to shoot straight through that. Right, what's going on here? Right, um... Don't really know the weapon I want to use here. Again, I'll try and I'll try the bat, uh, battling ram again. Also, can we just say how good of a name the battling ram is? Oh my god, just beautiful. It doesn't doesn't seem as good as I remember it being, but maybe I'm just used to things killing really fast, and this could actually just kill. It stays two shotting these enemies, so that's not too bad. I think it's just wigging me out that it's a two-round burst. Lovely. Got a mini-boss here. Go with this and this, I guess. There we go. And we can just sit back and let everything happen. Good, good. Mapping's pretty nice here. Got ourselves a our chest up here. Lovely spanner. I don't think this is that good. Is, 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 this is like more damage the more um, more damage the more modded weapons you have, right? If I remember correctly. Not anything crazy good for us. Think I'll still stick to the El Clasico combo. Let's go with the balloon gun here and sword. Balloon gun's obviously a bit risky because taking damage is going to take it away from us, but... I think it's not so bad. We should be okay for the most part. Also, the flight it adds is pretty good for rooms like this. Carefully, you, you're a bit of a beast. And then here we've got some crazy shit that we can't afford. To be expected, to be expected. 
and move along. What's that other chest? Got one more green chest available. We'll definitely go for that before the boss. It could be the clincher. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh my god, okay. I had to use a blank there. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Why am I fighting these guys while they're jammed anyways? Another blank used for no good reason. Where, where are you, sir? There you are, you bastards. There's another one? Oh my lord, I lost the... I, I didn't think there was another one. Where's the other one? Kinbugger off. <laughs> Room was a lot harder than it needs to be. At least we got our blank back there. Okay, we're taking some unnecessary hits on this floor, definitely. But I still think we're in the clear at the moment. Right, one moment. Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Okay, dokie, okay, right. Yeah, like I said, we don't have to clear through these rooms, but I feel like for the chest it's probably worthwhile. Oh my lord. I was doing so well. I'm taking hits I shouldn't be taking. I've still got plenty of red health to uh, utilize the... There you go, look, the shroomed gun is just unlocked. We've had that unlocked for a while, but here it is again. Looks like an active item to me. Good stuff. The Book of Sin. Is this the Isaac Book of Sin? It looks like it. Spawns a random pickup on use. Cooldown is based on room cleared. Yes, it is. Not terrible. Honestly, if you can give us armor and ammo, pretty happy with it. Um, we'll get out the Killithid's Tendril, and we will blast the boss as much as possible. I think we'll be fine on the boss, to be honest. I really don't see us having too much of an issue. Good thing is, I don't actually have to aim with this thing either. It's just a fire and forget sort of weapon. Didn't really need to blank there. Oh well. Also, these things can fire shadow shots too, which is good to see. Does make the screen a little cluttered, I will say, as you can probably already tell. It's a little bit hard to um, to figure out what's going on with the shots that I'm meant to be dodging. But it, it's literally like we just have an army of turrets firing. It's a really cool weapon. Ah, bad. Didn't mean to get hit there. Hopefully I can keep my uh, red health alive though, so I've got my sword still available. I don't know how long these, like, each module of this lasts for, you know. There's some shots that don't hurt us throughout all of this. I'm just going to prep another few of these just while we're jumping over. Just so the heart goes down quickly. There you go. Not bad. Good old one cycle. Oh, the uh, Book of Sin, dude, it pushed me in. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh. The goddamn thing he's pushed me in. I don't know why they're still there, to be honest. What's going on with these? Am I going to be able to get across? No. This is, this is rough. I can't get across. This is fucked. Okay. Got across. <laughs> I don't have my sword available now, though, because I took red health damage. Don't know what was going on there. Wait, I think Book of Sin is rooms cleared to um, to charge, I think I read. So, not quite as powerful as I maybe thought, but understandable considering its power. Like, if you could get get it on damage dealt and get, like, a bunch of HP and a boss fight, that'd be pretty strong. Um, whereas, if it's just getting consumables outside of combat and stuff, it's probably going to be a lot more sort of understandable. I've got a Discord message awaiting me. Who dare disturb me? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out before we carry on. Someone in my Discord. It's someone that is... Okay, it's it's, it's all good. It's all good. Right. Okay. Um. Cool. Let's continue on. Okay, I can't use my sword right now. This is going to be a little bit rough. So what, what do I want to use instead? Um. Honestly, I guess the... The, um, oh, lord. Bad damage. Stop eating those projectiles, you fool. They're not for you. 
Oh, he's, he's jammed. I was wondering why he was taking so much damage to kill. He's got damn jammed. Yeah, Void Shotgun seems good for now, and I think Casings will be able to keep this alive reasonably well. I mean, I might be able to just use the Killiford thing and keep that alive, but... Oh, nice. Okay, uh... Demon Head, I think I'm going to go for, because I really like Demon Head right now. At the minute, I'm on a hope for the best sort of train here. Use the shotgun when we don't need to use the... Uh, when it's smaller enemies, we use the shotgun, I think. I think. That's the way we should handle this. You chill out, big boy. Okay. All good. Hopefully, we're heading the right way. You never quite know with this. Oh, so this might have been the Guanstone thing that I was asked to do. If I managed to make a, get a Guanstone here, look. That might have made sense. Holy fuck, what is going on down there? No, 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 what the... Flippity flipping heck is this room. Everything in the kitchen sink by the looks of it. Fuck me. Okay, that was that was quite the room. Quite the room. And I think I will be taking the ammo for my uh the transgressions that I had to wit bear witness to there. Okay, some slightly tougher rooms here. Should use our shotguns for this, to be honest. Okay, and these guys deserve the fire. Why is Demon Head so strong right now? Do I have some, like, weird soft synergy I don't know about? Because this thing's absolutely shredding. It, it might be... It might be because I have, um... What's it called? Shadow Bullets? And Shadow Bullets can't proc on, um a beam weapon. Therefore, I'm just gaining bonus damage. Like, two times damage. I think that's why. If I remember correctly, that is a feature that this game has. Not too bad on that guy. Gave us a good amount of stuff. HP's looking good. Binary gun, not so good. Okay. Not so bad there, not so bad. Um, balloon gun, I'll keep charging up. That will put away there. Okay. Pretty happy with how that went. Yeah, I think I think um, beam weapons just get like uber boosted if they have a bullet mod that doesn't work for them. So I believe that's what's happening. We're just seeing the uber boost to Demon Head. Because, yeah, I don't remember it ever being this good. Like, the fire's nice and all, but goddamn, this thing just sh straight up shreds. Like, that's an enemy that's immune to fire, and it killed it. I've not been using this. My active. I don't know how many rooms I've had that. It's fine. There you go. Oh, really? You didn't get pushed in the fire? In the pit, even? Extra key from Master of Unlocking. Thank you, I guess. Okay, looks like we're looping back around here. So let's go this way. Ow. Shot grub got me, obviously. Ah. One of you in the walls, I see. And then you can get pushed in the pit. Lovely. Okay. These bitches are going to be annoying. So you need to go. Good. 
This is a rough room. Luckily did not go too badly, but that is a rough room. Wow. That room was just easy peasy, I guess. Okay. One last boy. Oh, nope, it's you, I see. Are you a tiny version of normal you? Yes, he is. Oh my god, that's some bad hits right there. Right, we're very close to the boss now, though. The blank. Oh, dude, just get hit by a jam bullet, why don't you? That's so stupid of me. Just kind of let it hit me. Oh, that made that section a lot easier. Okay. Lovely stuff. Health I've let fall a bit. I don't even know what's going on in this room. That was hard to comprehend. Okay. Nothing too bad going on here. I'm getting kind of nervous now because we're getting close to the end of this run. I feel like I've been doing really well, so I don't want to let down right near the end. So, goddamn tough few rooms here. Holy. Y'all need to chill out. Last bit of ammo on that. Ba -da 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 -da. I guess I pull out this thing now. Okay, we're at the boss now. So let's quickly scoop back up that HP we left over here. Then head on back and take out the boss. Um, try this out. Excuse me. This is quite going to help, but adding that effect makes me feel like I'm doing more than I ha <laughs> like <laughs> more than I actually am. Because in reality, I'm just kind of sat around waiting for him to die. Okay. We've got some sort of interesting synergy there, because you see how quickly that last bit of the health bar went down. It's not normal. And then all these knives just chilling about. I love this. What's going on? Right. We should be absolutely fine here. We've got four blanks as well. I don't actually know if that did anything. Oh, that was some very bad damage there. Holy... Gargantuanly awful damage. But I'm saving all my blanks for the last phase if I can. There you go. Okay, last little bit to go. Do your spinnies. I don't know if shooting you with this multiple times is worth anything, but I'll do it. Okay. I think you're absolutely bested, my guy. Yeah, there you go. Lovely stuff. What a nice run to return to form. I feel like I did a really good job of that, to be honest. And I'm pretty happy with it. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah, I feel like I did a pretty good job of that. Um, we got a good amount unlocked there as well. And we're just re-unlocking stuff we already had unlocked. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy a very fun little run there. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next one with more regular Gungeon coming up. I don't know how many times a week I'm going to be doing Gungeon. I will figure it out as we go, but there will be a more regular schedule in the future where things come out on specific days. Can these, these knife sounds stop so I can fucking talk, please?
There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and get a more regular schedule ready for you guys so you know what's coming up. Um, and yeah, you'll be seeing more Gungeon on this channel, of course. I do still thoroughly enjoy the game, especially when we do so well at it and see some pretty interesting stuff. I really like that, um, that weapon there. That seems to do a really good job. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.